Hey, this is Mike with Daily Self Reliance. I'm back at you with another video. And what I wanted to do today, I want to make a real short video, but this video is going to be based on a couple of dollar store finds that I found uh, to be very interesting and, and a useful item in a kit. And the first one is this foldable water bottle. Get a little closer where you can see it. This was a dollar item. I thought it would be a great item to, to fold up, roll up, and put in your kit uh, as an emergency water carrier if you need to. Um, as you can see, it's got a little pop top uh, lid, so you like the water bottle, or you know, you know, like the Aquafina bottles, that kind of thing. You can pop it up, drink from it, close it. Um, it's got a little carabiner to, to carry it on your kit. And like I said, you can roll it up and uh, just store it in your kit uh, for emergency use. And I just thought that was a great little item. The other item is something that you see all the time, but it intrigued me. This is like a paper clip holder, uh, but it is made out of metal. It's fairly stout. It's got screens in it. And I thought this might make a great little uh, stove type item. Uh, so what we're going to do, uh, we're going to turn the video camera down and uh, we're going to light this up and uh, put a, some water on it and see how it does. So. Stay with me, let me get this camera readjusted, and uh, we'll experiment. Okay folks, we got it set up. I've got my glacier mug here and uh, some water. And what I'm going to use to burn today uh, to cook with is a wax impregnated cotton ball. Sometimes these can be a little difficult to get started, but once they do get started, they burn quite a bit. They're obviously much easier to start with a lighter but I'm gonna try and get it started using my rod here today hopefully I don't look silly There we go. Alright, we'll get that down there and let it start going here. I don't know if we'll get this to a boil or not, but we're going to see what happens. And like me to knock that off there. What I want to do, I'm going to set my timer down here. Now it's already been going a little bit, but we'll see just uh, what kind of time we got involved here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and shut the camera off, and uh, when we get a little bit further into this, I'll turn it back on, and we'll see where we're at. Okay, I wanted to turn this back on, and, and we're uh, three minutes into this, but I wanted you to see how this is flaming up inside there. So I'm going to move the camera. Bear with me just a second here.
So you can see that wax ball burning away in there, and it's got a long ways to go. Got a pretty good flame into there with with that uh, cotton ball. So I, you know this this little uh, paper clip holder, as it were, makes a pretty good little uh, pot stand and stove, if you ask me. I mean, there's plenty of room if you wanted to to put a little alcohol burner down in there, or uh, possibly maybe even use it as a, a uh, a twig burner, or I believe you could probably get a buddy burner down in there too if you made one the right size. So, uh, again, I'm just going to shut the camera down for a minute and wait this out and see how it does. We are uh, four minutes into it right now. Hey, that thing kicked in. I wanted you to see this. I mean, it's got good ventilation, it's burning really well. It's going to make my handles a little hot there, but. Just depending on which way the wind's blowing, but things doing really great. We're five minutes into it. Water's hot. It's not boiling yet, but it's hot enough for coffee. And that little, uh, if you just wanted to carry like a, uh, a glacier mug and that little uh, paper clip holder will actually fit down inside the glacier mug. So you could carry the glacier mug, the little uh, pot or the, the stand down inside it and you could carry an alcohol burner down that. And that would be one way to make yourself a little cook kit that doesn't take up any more room than a glacier mug. So that's a good option I think, especially for a small kit. Okay, we're almost seven minutes into it. If I had put a lid on my cup, we'd probably be at a boil because I definitely got some bubbling going on here. It'll be at a boil any moment now. You can probably see the soot that it's putting all over my cup. I've gotten used to that. I carry a little uh, thin uh, Brillo pad in my kit so I can just uh, clean that up real quick. So I don't worry about that too much anymore. Of course you can also use sand if you're near creek or river. Okay, well I'm going to shut this down for just a moment and we'll turn it back on when we get to a boil here. Okay, we'll do a little update here. The flame is dying down. Um, I should have had a lid on this. It would have helped out, but I do want to show you if I can. I don't know if you can see that or not, but we are getting a little bit of a boil and I can hear that familiar little rumble sound that boiling water makes. 
Um, if I'd had a lid on this, we'd have been at a full boil, and we're at about 14 minutes right now. I hope you can see that down in there. We are getting a boil. It's just not rolling. So, And the flame's trying to kick back in. So it's a little slower than I wanted, but it is definitely a usable item. And like I said, if I'd had a lid, we'd probably been in a boil a long time ago. So, you know, this cup, that little uh, uh, paper clip holder, and either wax balls like I used or an alcohol burner or something like that would make a nice little cook kit. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please post them. Any comments. And as always, I appreciate your input. And I appreciate you watching my videos. I hope you enjoyed it.